Did you have to call them back and let them know, or you just didn't say anything? Well, I, I sent the text back. It was a text. I sent the text back saying we would be there, but then once we found out, I was like, nope, ain't happening. We never went, so we didn't hear nothing. And Johnny said, you know what? If they... Now, what if they would have set up a situation like, now you're on our payroll, and we're going to pay you this much, mm-hmm. but we're going to withhold a certain amount for those six months to equal the $2,000. I'm We we may have done it, but the whole thing is like... But, but nothing in the paperwork alluded to that. No. No, it was like the only thing that they had was a payment arrangement, which was $500 a month. Per kid. Per kid. And, you know, I mean, and, you know, me and Johnny have talked about this before, of course, with our oldest, Kayla, Mm -hmm. um, which we believe she's model material. But, you know, he always said, if they want her bad enough, we don't have to pay a dime. They will pay her to be there. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. And I understand that everybody needs an agent and everybody needs this and that. But But agents don't work up front. Right. They, they, They get you work. Oh, hold on, Patrick has something to say. Well, they've been passing this bottle around, so are you sure yeah. you want to... Well, no, I figured that Patrick, out. Patrick, back off. It's a microphone. It's not a phallus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I um, I, I, lear- oh, I just wanted to chime in about the, the whole thing because um, when I was, I guess, like a teenager, I, I wanted to do that, and then I did... Um, <coughs> The MTV. They had. I did the the, M, See, the thing with MTV. Nick, got Nick over here. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I went and did the thing with uh, with MTV, what and thing? I was. Were, I were you re- in? Were you in his show? No. No. no um, I did a reality you show. Were, right? I was on Made. Oh. No. 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 Are <laughs> you really? Yeah. No, oh, it was great. Yeah. I, I was. Uh, this was back in about 2006. Um, MTV I had was. To YouTube that shit. You will, It's so. it's really like hard to find. Um, <laughs> I have a copy of it somewhere, you but no. Um. Basically, MTV was going throughout Central Texas looking for um, doing, like, casting calls and stuff, and I just happened to show up to lunch um, about 10 minutes early, and they were doing auditions, and they were looking for, like, nerdy people. And, I mean, I'm a lot nerdier now than I was back in high school. Back no. in high school. No, back, no, no. back in high school, I was a loser. No, no. <laughs> now, I mean, now no. I, was, I was a loser that, like, couldn't get a date. Now I'm just a guy that reads comic books, yeah, talks to his cat, and can't get a date. But, um... <laughs> But no, uh, basically... Now, hold, on, hold on, let me interrupt here. He's sitting here in my studio after bringing natural light beer into my home. It, Seth, it was Seth's idea. <laughs> Blame Seth. I will. Wearing a replica Ed, Ed, and Eddie cap. It's a beanie. Oh, talking oh, about... God. Or beanie. <laughs> talking about... I, I, was, I, I wasn't nerdy back then. Dude. I you were nerdy back then. I was, but I'm a lot. I'm just saying, I'm a lot geekier I'm now. Tagging him in, on your Facebook. Than okay. I am, but no. To get to get back to it, um, I, I I went up. I did I did the audition, and um, I they they I, I guess they liked what I had to say. So I got a call back about a couple weeks later. Um, I had to go out into um some like the set studios out in Austin. I had to do a video interview with the producers. Um, and that, that one was pretty fun, um, a little crazy. I ended up, I showed up with like a shirt that had some, I can't remember what it was. It had some logo on it and the people and the, one of the <coughs> managers or whatever there was like, Hey, we need you to turn your shirt inside out for when you do your video interview because you can't be advertising that product, blah, blah, blah. So I did that. I did the video interview. So, so you turned, you, you I basically just had to turn my shirt inside out and they said, they, they don't want to advertise. Yeah. They didn't want to advertise my like, little kitty. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so we did that. We did the interview. Um, they liked me and they told me they were like, Hey, um, cause it was still between about like 10, 15 people at that point. It was narrowed down. Um, and when this whole thing started, I mean, we're talking the entire, like entire central Texas and I got chosen, which was just awesome. So they were like, Hey, um, if we like, like, after this, it's basically we're just going to pick somebody. If we like you, we'll call you in about, like, three, four weeks. So about a month. So I end up getting a call back about, like, a month later, and they're just like, hey, we like you. Um, we, we're picking you, blah, blah, blah. So um, it was about five days' worth of filming. Um, I ended up talking to, like, one of the guys. We went out. We all went out to eat at Chili's. I mean, it was all expenses paid. They spared no expense. Chili's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they were basically, I was, because I was like, we got there, and I was like, I was like, I don't have any money or anything. And they're like, um, they're like, we're paying for your food. So I ordered, I, I wish I was 21. I would have been ordering drinks. And Dude, like crazy. did you get to, like, the flaming yarn? Dude, or? I ordered, I basically ordered, um, 
I had like a triple dipper for my appetizer. I had a ribeye <laughs> with um, yeah, 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 pretty no. I ordered the because I, I work for Chili's, so I ordered like a ribeye medium rare with um like macaroni and cheese. I ordered like a special a, a side of shrimp. I ordered a dessert afterwards. Um, I ended up sitting the, the guy that I was sitting with. Um, I talk. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're passing around a bottle of Fireball. One of the guys that I was sitting next to. Um, I talked to him for a little bit, and he to- he was telling me that before he was doing this, he was um, a part. Of- he was a cameraman for um, the Lord of the Rings trilogy and stuff like that. And we did get onto the subject because I was just like, well, what about all the things that I hear on the radio? Were like, hey, if you want to be a Disney Channel star and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And they basically they're like, it's pretty much kind of like a scam. It's like, yes, you'll go and get picked, but as soon as like you get picked, they want money yeah. up front for it, which is why I never I never bothered trying that or else i i mean i if it was free i would have gone i would have gone out and done that because i love well, how much did you have to pay to be on mtv i paid nothing how much did you get paid i made i made a hundred bucks a day for five days of filming so before taxes That's it was 500 it was 500 dollars before taxes if uh when we did all the paperwork and stuff um because there was a lot of it like even alex had to fill out something yeah. he, he was he only just in, did it for a little bit he, he wasn't even in it for he was in it for about um well, it's like a, a second or no, it's like a second or two. You see when we're at the, the pastor party, yeah, the yeah. campfire. You see him um, behind me and stuff like that. And he had a uh, he was actually at my house when we were signing paperwork and everything. Yeah. Well, uh, they were they wanted a bigger part. They for did. Him, yeah. And then there, there was a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. There was bullshit. a whole bunch of stuff that we wanted to do that we didn't get to do. But um, but yeah, it was a hundred bucks a day. Um, if they had filmed at my house, it was just it was a grand. Like in my pocket, um, we were supposed to do that. We didn't end up doing it, which I was a little upset about. <laughs> but um, but no, I mean it was it was a fun experience. I enjoyed it. Uh, but then when I go back and watch it now, because um, I I know all the mistakes and stuff that we had do it. There were so. I mean, because like, that that was reality TV, it was, yeah. Well, meaning like, that it was scripted, and yes. there, wasn't there like two or three people that weren't even in Huddle High School that but they brought in to be like? Well, because everybody goofy gets confused. Full of fake people. Yeah, it, it gets conf- what it, what confused everybody was. It was basically that I was running for Homecoming King against uh, Shiloh Wampler. It was scripted. It was scripted that I was going to lose. Um, they had the, um, they had these people come in that were like my entourage, so to speak. It was basically like if you have ever seen that show from the the 80s, the the A-Team. Like, I had my (laughs) A-Team, and it was just full of nerds. Um, they weren't supposed to be in high school with me, because they were all in, like, their, like, 20s and 30s. Um, and I still keep in contact with a couple of them on Facebook. But um, but that's what it was. They were just hired actors. They were hired act. I mean, yeah. one of like one of the guys worked for Microsoft. Uh, another guy was had his own band. Um, the one girl, the one girl that I actually I still stay in contact with. She just got married, and I think she's about to have a kid. She's a um an animator for Family Guy, which is pretty cool. Plus, when we were doing the um when we were filming, she got to wear a um like Catwoman like leather like tight suit so that was really fun to watch (laughs) but no i mean like almost the whole thing was scripted long story short (laughs) long story short no this is do not no but long story short is do not believe the freaking commercials (laughs) yeah they broke little kids hearts because they well you know i have a i have a feeling that the whole vetting process there was looking at the parents and seeing who could afford two thousand dollars. Yes. Okay, but both my kids got accepted. Do you think I could afford that? Well, you probably, you know, went there, made up, and and uh, had some nice nope. clothes on. Nope, <laughs> I was in jeans. <laughs> or they did. You know, you, something, whatever. I'm, okay, I'm sure. I'm I sure do the have vetting. To admit, pro- I do I'm have sure to admit. the vetting process has okay. to be profitable. So I they're do not gonna... have to admit. Her judge. He was a GQ model. <laughs> Oh lordy! <laughs> okay, she doesn't get any more fireball. No, seriously, no, seriously. No, seriously. I even told Johnny. I texted him. I said, "No, no, seriously." GQ, long story short, <laughs> do GQ model. Do you mind? Do you want to say something? I do want to say something. Here. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Seth. Yeah, Seth. Oh, oh. Seth the Wanderer, folks. You got, you got to remember though, when parents are faced with disappointing their. Like you, yeah. They're teenage girls. Mm-hmm. They'll come up with two thousand dollars for each one. And that's so, what they're counting on, I think. I did. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, I would say it's it's a very profitable scheme that plays on a little bit of emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it, it broke. 
it broke my heart to not come up with that money. I'm not paying, though, for their beauty. I'm not. If, if they're good enough, if somebody wants them bad enough, they'll want them regardless. They will pay them to be where they got to be. Not me putting the bill. Yeah, well, that's... Not happening. That okay, so that's sense. my rant. I'm done. That makes sense. Yeah, I was just going to say I completely agree with that. Because when I, when I did mine, I, didn't, I did not have to pay anything anything out of pocket uh when i when i i mean i was when i went into it i wasn't expecting to be chosen or anything the only reason i even went to the audition was that i showed up to lunch early i didn't have to wait in line basically like i, I remember my audition i went in there and my friends were like hey you should go try out for that because they were looking for geeky people they were like well hold that thought let's come back after the break yeah there's music playing so i got i got bing i got bing playing glisten <laughs> And children, listen. Oh, we need some singers. Because <laughs> <laughs> it ain't cutting it. <laughs> in the sky. Now, yeah, whatever, guys. Uh, hi, Tom here from Spot On with Lino and Tom. Tune in for some topical discussion and laugh therapy with Lino and me. I'll be covering my favorites like Weird News of the Week and what I'm liking on Netflix, The Next Best Gadget, and whatever else comes to mind. We both have our own interests. I love recording on the latest movies being filmed here in Boston, checking out new musical talent, and just talking to people. We'll also be featuring segments such as on-the-spot interviews where Lynn and I venture out and ask questions of our listening public. That's my favorite. Besides hanging out with my buddy Tom, now that's the icing on the cake. And cake, I love talking about cake. We love talking about everything. So tune in Monday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern right here at Armed Radio Global. Trust Princeton Fuel in Arlington to help you avoid the Montreal Express this winter. Their professionals will attend to your every heating need, whether it's oil delivery, new heating systems, or maintenance and repair. Family owned and operated for over 25 years. Located at 46 Frost Street in Arlington, call Princeton Fuel at 781-643-0058 now. And don't get left out in the cold. Who's the candy man? Why, Brian Smiley, of course. Brian Smiley Candy Company. There you'll find aisles and aisles of every candy imaginable. Brian Smiley Candy Company is located at 35 Industrial Parkway in Woburn, Massachusetts. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 to 4.30 p.m. Or call them at 781-935-1660. Brian Smiley is the candy man. Hi, now I know you hear Joe Rocks on their weekly restaurant reviews on Night Talk, 10 p.m. Eastern. And boy, these two like to eat, right boys? Well, here's something to review right from your house. Eat24. That's right, eat24.com. With over 25,000 restaurants for you to choose from when you're hungry. Many in your area. So review that, boys. Eat24.com. Click, order, and eat. Eat24.com. Route 106 Motors is the home of fine pre-owned vehicles. Experience a no-pressure sale with a family-friendly atmosphere. Route 106 Motors has been practicing the same simple philosophy of low prices for over a decade, and it has brought us great success. Recently, while other dealers are closing their doors, Route 106 Motors is expanding. We are a wholesale dealer, and we own the property and pay cash for all the vehicles. This allows us to sell to the consumer for a lot less than the average dealership. We are a high-volume, small-profit dealer, and we pass the savings on to you. New changes have been made at Route 106 Motors. Stop by and check out our brand-new building. Route 106 Motors, located at 569 West Street. Check our website at Route106Motors.com and be sure to like us on Facebook to find out about all the latest deals and savings opportunities. Route106Motors.com 
Your search for love and companionship ends here. Join now at TalkToSingles.com for free. It's a new, high-quality, internet-based personal dating service that allows single men and single women to meet and engage in electronic conversations in the safety and comfort of their home computer. It's a dedicated team providing online dating services for successful matchmaking. Join today absolutely for free and start connecting with singles in your area now. And check out the Android app. Go to TalkToSingles.com. That's talk number two, singles.com.